I do. Because, like you said, we, we are across the tracks from them, so we don't really get as much interaction as we can with them. Personal experience, probably not. Like right across the tracks from each other. So there should automatically be some type of connection. FSU is like one of the top 25 universities, and um, I think that acknowledging an HBCU in the same town as them and like the historical relationships and the power dynamic there is just like, I don't know, like. I don't think there's too much of a divide between FAMU and FSU, but personally, I, I don't like to see a divide anyway. I like to think everyone's inclusive and, you know, love each other. I feel like a lot of the clubs are like pretty, like well like integrated between the two schools. Obviously. <laughs> Everyone only talks about FSU. No one talks about Fanny, which is amazing. But Fanny is just as good, if not better, in some cases than FSU. There has definitely been a really clear historical divide. I think it's a little bit true. There's definitely a divide uh, between the two institutions. The students that are African American that attend Florida State are definitely divided from the students uh, that attend Florida A&M University. Divide? Well, come on. I don't think there's a divide really. Of course. I wouldn't say it's a divide. It's just we have our school. They yeah, have their school. We do our own thing. In a way, I do feel there is a divide between FSU and FSU. Across the tracks, you can obviously see a huge difference. That side is nice. Compared to this side. I feel there's a major divide. Only due to the fact that there's no Walgreens or Walmart on the south side. Whereas on the FSU side, they have Walmart, Publix, CVS, Walgreens, pretty much everything that we, we should have on the south side as well. There is a divide. While we don't speak about it, no one really mentions it, there's a lack of effort from both sides. Honestly, I do, but I feel like it's something that just kind of came naturally because we are two separate schools, even though we're so close. Definitely a culture thing, like I feel like sometimes they're probably afraid to interact with us more than we'll be um, you know, open to interacting with them, you know. We never have joint functions ever together and even when people try to go, it doesn't really get very far. Um, and it's always on their end, never ours. I was in Applebee's last night and there was a girl at the bar arguing about how FSU is much better than family. Yeah. And to hear about it was pretty disheartening to hear how they think about FAMU and things like that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't even consider FAMU from FSU, uh, a real university. And I'm an Uber driver and I've gotten that in the Uber. Yes. People, somebody came and said, FAMU's not a real university. While I was taking it. We all develop the same mindset and actually want to work together and really to like unite one another, then that divide wouldn't be there. Yeah, I think that does. I um, get a question a lot, why would I come to a PWI when I'm black? PWIs typically, um, I just feel like they don't have the best relationships with HBCUs in here, though, um, especially historically. Um, I feel like obviously things are changing very slowly, and I think the changes are not equal on all. Maybe a little. Maybe people don't feel welcomed over here, but like... Yeah. I hope that's not the reason, but I feel like that may That could be, yeah. Like, hopefully it isn't, but like, I feel like to some people, like, that could be their point of view on it. But I just went into my room, and I said I went over across the street to FAMU, and they were like, what? And they were like, oh, 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 that school. Mm. So, and it's pretty obvious once you get here. Or if, even if you're at FAMU, they talk about FSU like... Yeah. I don't think it's a race issue as far as... Um, why the division is created, I think it's uh, how they choose to resolve an issue. So I think uh, both sets of African Americans are striving for the same thing, a better future for their particular race. But I think um, the way they go, they, the way they have chosen to go about it is just different. Like whenever I do meet people from FAM, like they, I feel like I should have went to FAM sometimes because they, they seem like they're more together in mm -hmm. a sense because here like just now just off my English class I'm literally the only person of color in the whole class wow. so it's it's different in that aspect I think. I think it does. I really feel like it's just a general bias based on what we're used to seeing. Of course I, I honestly will say you know what I'm saying it is the elephant in the room you know what I'm saying even the even the, the few uh, minority 
we would see minority students like Caucasians or whatever that go to this school, to this HBCU, you know what I'm saying, may feel a certain type of energy toward them because it's, it is what it is. Like, it's, it's an HBCU. And, of course, the race is gonna play. Yeah, it's clear that we're an HBCU and they're a PWI, but I don't. I think it goes a little deeper than that. Let's you know dive into the performance benefits of both universities. You know the historical nature of both universities. I think I think it's a lot more than race. Definitely, I think that people think just because. FSU is a PWI that they're more inclined to things, which it, I mean it does show with the fact that they're really funded by the state. Seriously, like they they get a lot of things and they pretty much own most of the buildings here in Tallahassee as a part of the culture. Okay, because you got the African Americans who do go to FSU who still wouldn't come to family, but they're here every step right. I think maybe like active not activities, but like events that have both schools combined, because I don't think I see a lot of that, but um, that can help. I think it's like, America just has like a race problem, and that's just like a thing, and that's just been the thing. It's just been, that's how, that, that's integral to the story of America. I think it could, like, it would just kind of require a lot of like, events of all of us kind of coming together and like doing things, because we're all college students, we're all around the same age, like, for the same purposes, so like, it could. I think, I think if we, we could coordinate like events and stuff like that for all like college students in Tallahassee, like people of color in Tallahassee, like stuff like that, then it would definitely and like mesh. Joint events between the two schools would help to like break down that border and make things more integrated. Yeah, through um, you know, events and meetings between the two. Uh, I believe their engineering program is together. I believe some other program they have together, but that doesn't like you know solve any issue. I guess if more students start interacting with each other and start stop caring about oh what school do you go to and just become friends with just with common personality. I do, I do. I feel like uh, the resolution comes with older people uh, who have uh, gone through uh, the times. I mean, I came to Florida State back in 2004, and I'm at FAMU now, so I'm able to kind of juxtapose my um, perspectives of in attending the institution when I was 18 at Florida State and how I kind of felt about FAMU versus being older and attending FAMU and how I, I can now appreciate it. I feel like if we were to have more joint events or um, spend more time with people who aren't like us, it would be a lot easier to accept those set people and get along better. It would just take the right people with the right mindset to break that divide. I feel like the work put in to resolve it, it wouldn't make any sense because the people who would start it wouldn't be the same people who would end it. Bringing the schools together, um, I definitely think that it should go beyond just organizations. We should actually have like the school do like something close together and stuff like that. I feel like it starts with parents as well because parents put that mindset in their children's mind. Some parents like of FSU kids, they tell them that FAMU is not that good of a school or things like that. I mean, they don't know much about the school. Though. They just say it because they went to FSU. We all just get out that mindset of, you know, we can't hang with them, they can't hang with us. You know, and then things will be fine. I think if we both, you know, actually made took some steps towards, you know, having mutual events, you know, showing up at each other's Senate meetings, or, you know, supporting each other's SGAs and each other's initiatives and things like that. Small things like that, you know, it can start a domino effect. Okay, ready? <laughs> Solomon, <Salt> please. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good. Uh, intro. Okay, go ahead. All right. <laughs> there you go. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, okay. <For> <laughs> All right, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we can get started. Okay. That's good. <laughs> you divide in Tallahassee. Alright. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Alright, thank you so much. <laughs>